Hello, Jorge. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine. How was, how was your weekend? Uh, very rest. It was good? Yeah. Anything interesting? Did you do anything interesting? Nothing interesting. Nothing? Nothing? You only didn't go, only you, house. You didn't go out <laughs> or anything? And, and they were in a supermarket. Oh, nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> All right. Do you usually go to the supermarket, or, or does does your wife go to the supermarket? Uh, my, uh, I went to my um, daughter. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. 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 All right. Good job. Uh, thank you for being here so early, Lisbeth. How are you? How was your weekend, Lisbeth? You're very quiet. Don't be quiet. See these beautiful people here. Say hi to them. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? What do you do? In the work. You were I working? Work at, where yes. do you work at? Why? Where do you work at? I work at, in, I work in a pharmacy. Okay, you work at a pharmacy. All right. Uh, drugstore, you mean? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. All right. Awesome. Jimmy, how about you, Jimmy? How was your weekend? Did you see your girlfriend? Uh, no, I live with my, my daughter. Oh, you're, are you, okay, all right. You married? I am married. Oh, yeah. okay, all right. You look very young, man. <laughs> how old are you? Oh, I, am, I am 20 ages old. Okay, you look very young, all right? But it's okay, yes. 28, all right? All right. Yes. Uh, Sandra, how are you, Sandra? How was your weekend? How are you? Uh, nice. nice. All right, did you, did you get to do anything interesting? Did you go out? Excuse me? Did, did you go out? Did you do anything interesting? Um... Yeah, I I visit my family out the San Salvador on weekend. Oh, okay. So you live in San Salvador, and you got to to visit your your uh, your family out. In San All right, beautiful. All right. How about you, uh, Jacqueline? How are you? How was your weekend? Hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, my weekend was a little bit tired because. I'm doing everything that I didn't do. <laughs> didn't do? Is correct? Yeah. Didn't do in, in the week. Like, wash my clothes, my uniforms, um, something like that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So you had to work. <laughs> you had to work yes. even more. All right. I got you. Got you like got a you. mom. Yes. All right. Beautiful, guys. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for being here so early. Uh, we're going to continue, guys. So uh, as I promised, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the midterm. So we're going to solve it together. All right, guys, so who wants to give me the answer for the first one, okay? So the listening part. Me teacher. Oh, don't fight over each other, guys, all right? Participation. <laughs> All right, you're, you're scaring me. Like, my God, the, the energy, I, like, everybody wants to participate, okay? Just one at a time, all right? Uh, all right, guys, so Tomb grew up in, what is the answer for this? San Francisco. San Francisco, San Francisco. beautiful, all right? Carol, Carol G, used to what? Used to run, uh, Read comic book. Read, read comic, comic books, comic okay, books. beautiful. According to Helen, they're what? It's too much stuff. I don't know. Okay. It's too traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, according to Helen, there is too much traffic, okay? And number four? Number four. I'm not going to join. 
Bor is calling a phone number. Okay. Uh, calling a phone number. Okay. All right, guys. So there is number three is the only one. The only one wrong here. The number three. He's saying not far in downtown. downtown. Yeah. All right. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Applause, guys. Applause for me. Okay. Good job. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm kidding for you guys. All right. So now, uh, number one, guys, I, I, I'm I, sorry I sold them here. Okay. That is where uh, where were you born? Did he study French? When did they graduate? Okay. All right. So, you guys, did you complete the whole midterm in section three? Or do you I have any? Do, do you have a... Uh, do you have uh, any of them that you left behind? Did you complete them all? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right, beautiful. All right, vocabulary. Okay, so every summer, Sam used to go to the? Meet teacher. Tell me. Where did you born? Number three. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Okay, vocabulary. Uh, sorry. Vocabulary uh, is a uh, sound and to go to the beach. Beach. Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> no. Repeat, guys. B. Repeat. B. 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 Playing chess. Playing. Playing chess, not chess. Okay. Playing. Chess, chess is like when you say, I really enjoy playing chess. It's like chess. a picture, right? Chess, right? All right. So uh, Ed had some unusual pets, including a rabbit and a, a snake. A snake. Uh, guys, snake. don't say a, it's a snake. All right? Uh, you, snake. Do you, okay, guys, do you want to talk American or do you want to talk like Sofia Vergara? I had a snake. <laughs> I had a snake. Right? No, guys, okay? Snake. Repeat snake. 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 Right? snake. Guys, yeah. snake. let me I tell you something, snake. right? We are used, we're used to, to, to making that sound, guys, okay? No me digan ahora que no saben cómo pronunciar, guys. Todo el mundo le hace. Uy, te compras un carro. Snake. All right? Now, everybody, snake. Snake. Right. Right. So right. that's how you pronounce it, okay? Right. right. Not not a, a snake, right? No Sofia Vergara, guys. All right, used to guys. So number one for used to. Did you? Did you used to? Did you use to? Did you? Okay, so it would be did you use? Use to. Two. All right. Beautiful. Number uh two B. Used to. I used yes, to. I... Yes, I used to. And what things? Uh huh. Did, did you use to collect? To collect. Okay, beautiful. All right, number collect. four. Uh, Jacqueline, number four. Collect. Number four. Did you use to? Oh, yeah. I never. Oh, I never. Collect. 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 No. Not the collector. Number collect. Collect. Uh, yeah. I see collect. Beautiful guys. Okay, the only one that's Ooh. wrong is, is what things did you use to to collect? Collect. Repeat. Collect. 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 All right. The final sound, guys, is a. T -t -t -t. All right. Beautiful. 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 All right. Word order. Right. To collect. So which one is the right order here? There shall be better. There should be fewer cars and less noise. Good job. Repeat, guys. There should be fewer fewer cars and less noise. There should be fewer cars and less noise. All right. Uh, what about this one, guys? We should what? have more C BC. Okay, hold on. BC. Bicycle, repeat bicycle. bicycle. All right. Bicycle. A bicycle. Okay, so lanes like these, lanes. Should have. Should have what? 
More. More. Plus one. Bicycle. More. Bicycle. Bicycle. Is this correct, guys? No. no. So what is the right answer? We show. We, we show. show. We, we should. Show. Repeat, guys. We should. We should. We should. Should. Uh -huh. have we should uh, have more, more bicycle, bicycle more, lanes. More bicycle lanes. Bicycle lanes. Bicycle lanes. Lane. Bicycle lanes. Lane. Okay. Lane. All right. So what about the third one? Listen. There. 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 Much, there, there is, is much, there so much, much, much pollution. Air pollution. pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution. Okay. Beautiful, guys. You're very smart. Good job. Air pollution. Oh, we. I'm sorry. There is was. All right. This one is wrong. We should have. We should have more, right? More. More. I'm missing more, right? Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Indirect questions. Uh, where's the nearest restaurant? Oh, this one. You should be experts at this, guys. Right. Emperatriz, which is the right answer for this, Emperatriz? Uh, I didn't, teacher. I'm sorry, what? I didn't. Uh, I finished uh, only uh, to the letter A. The oh, okay. Uh -huh. I'm All sorry. Right. Hey, do me a favor, Emperatriz. You need to finish the midterm. Like, that was due on Friday, okay? So, can you finish it today? Uh, no, no, not yet. The mirror exam, not yet. The Just the letter A, the mirror. No, but can you finish it today? Are you going to be able to finish the exam today? Exactly. The midterm today? Mm, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I don't right. know. I, sure. I, really, I really needed to finish it. Okay? It was due on Friday. Era para el viernes. All right. Okay. Uh, but yeah. if you can help me. Yeah. All right. Good job. Uh, but anyways. Even if you didn't finish it, which one do you think is the right answer? Do you know where the... Uh-huh. Nearest restaurant is. Okay, do you know yes. where the nearest restaurant, restaurant is? is? Like this? Yeah. The first yes. one? The first yes. one. Yes. yes. First one. Okay, good job. All right. uh, oh number two, number two. Which one do you think number two is? Could you, tell Could you tell me how, how much, much newspaper newspaper cost? Newspaper cost. Could you tell me how much news uh how much newspapers cost? Okay. No. Or this no. no. Third. All right, be third, not third. Third one. Okay. okay third. Third. All right. Uh, number three. Do you, Do you know, know where the bookstore, the bookstore, the bookstore in, in, town. Town is. in town is? Good job. Uh, number four. What time? The first. Can you tell me what time the banks close? Beautiful, guys. Okay. Can you tell me what time the banks close? Okay. Uh, and lastly, guys, reading comprehension. Number one. Dan came, invented... The Sedway HD. Beautiful job. Dean came and invented the Sedway HD. Number number uh, number two. It's cheaper than buying a car. Repeat, guys. It's cheaper than it's buying, cheaper a car. Than buying a car. Number three. Recharge in four to six hours. Recharges in four to six hours. All right, uh, number four. To replace a bicycle. Could replace a bicycle. Could replace a bicycle. Very good job, guys. All right, that concludes the midterm. Applause for you. Beautiful, guys. Just in time. Okay, guys. So we're going to practice, guys, simple past versus, versus uh, present perfect. Beautiful topic. Now, uh, help me, help me, uh, help me, uh, uh, let me read the objective. Uh, let's see. Juan Francisco, all right? Beautiful smile, man. Help me read the lesson objective. Okay. Read. Yes, read Francisco, read. Okay. 
practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tense in the lesson. English teacher Joyce Joy Sins explains when you use simple past versus the present perfect tense, depending on the, the time frames on the action, practice asking the question in the present perfect using how you ever. <coughs> Describing your past experience by responding in the but, the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral composition exercise. Good job, man. Good job, right? Comprehension. Repeat comprehension. 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 All right. Comprehension. I'm sorry, man. It was funny when you said Joe sense, because sense, okay, when you say sense, like pecados. Como Jose pecados, right? <laughs> Joe's science. Okay? <laughs> but science. good job, man. All right. It's good. I'm sorry. You have a question? Who said teacher? Somebody said teacher. You good? Okay. Beautiful, guys. All right, so simple pass, guys. All right, we're going to talk about food. No, guys, we're going to talk about what you <laughs> ate, what you ate this, uh, this morning. Okay. All right. So now, guys, uh, what do we use? What, first off, what do we use simple past for? So let's talk about simple past. What do we use it for? Subject now what what do we use it for like what is the usage of that what, what do we use it for we use it for actions actions complete completed and the past okay good job guys so actions completed in the past okay all right all right and the structure guys okay now the structure we're gonna get into the structure later okay but I want you to to uh, to notice the difference the difference all right now present perfect guys all right so we use person perfect present perfect all right what do you think that we use it for everybody experiences all right that's it guys we, we use it for talking about experience all right so far so good so far, is it good? Mm -hmm. All right, Jorge, what do we use simple pass for? Uh, for five, four, three, two. Use it. All right, Jimmy, what do we use simple pass for? Actions completed in the past. Actions completed in the past. Pay attention, uh -huh. guys, okay? Because I just wrote it here, and you didn't know the answer. Uh, what yeah. do we use simple person for, guys? Karen Melendez, what do we use simple person for? Experiences for what? Experiences. Experiences. Okay, we use it for experience. experience. All right. So who wants to help me read the first example? Oh my God, it's so hot today. Really, really hot. All right. So uh, who wants to help me read the first example, guys? Me, teacher. Uh huh. Me. Go for it. Experiences. Have you ever? Have you ever nailed? Okay. Did you like this? Okay, beautiful, guys. Beautiful, right? All right, plus for Jacqueline, guys. Jacqueline, I think that uh, your your connection was breaking up. Okay. Uh, oops. Did not take a look at that. Okay. In the night. All right. No. Uh, so hold on. That's that's why I don't like having what's up open here. All right, guys. So um, so let's go back here. So now, guys, now have you ever eaten snails? Okay. All right. Is this simple past? What do you think? Is is this uh, is this simple past or or? Uh, have past you or ever? Past. It's present. Have perfect. you ever? It's present perfect, guys. Okay. Guys, every time they use the word present, guys, I mean perfect. Okay. When you see this perfect. It means that it contains the word have, as, and auxiliary, okay? What what does it mean, guys? Have, as, and auxiliary. 
Okay, uh, it contains the uh, word. Uh, auxiliary. Be careful. Okay, tell me. Uh, this case is has and have. In this case? Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, depends, it, it, it depends on the subject, guys. It depends on the subject. Okay. All right. Uh, All right, uh, I, that, that was just a quick mention, guys, okay? So have you ever eaten snails? Now, guys, if I ask you, Lino Eduardo, uh, if I ask you, do you have a car? How would you answer this? Do you have a car? Do you yes, have I, a car? Yes, I have. Yes, what? Yes, I, yes, I do. Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, I have. have. Okay, for the, per so for the people who told me, yes, I have. We this have. is one hundred percent incorrect. All right, because mm. guys, what what is the auxiliary here? Do do do. Okay, so how do you answer? Do you have a car? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Guys, yes, I do. That's why mm -hmm. you do not have to think in Spanish. If you say yes, I have, that is absolutely incorrect. Because yes, I have, guys, is the auxiliary for what? For what tense? Present perfect. Have you ever, have you ever okay. Have, have you ever been in love? Ever been in the love? Mm -hmm. How will you answer yes. this? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Or? Mm -hmm. No. No, I, I haven't. haven't. Okay. Got it, guys? Okay. All right. So, so far, so good? Yes. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, guys. So, uh, so, so how do we combine them both? How do we combine simple present and the present perfect, okay? Simple, guys, when we're giving an answer, okay? Remember, what do we use? What do we use simple? I mean, what do we use present perfect for? Uh-huh, who can tell me? What do we use simple present, I mean, uh, present perfect for? Guys, you should have it in your notebook. I wrote it down here. Teacher, uh, uh, David has been here since this morning. Teacher, mm, I I didn't quite catch that, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna take a look at examples. Right now, <laughs> I want any I want somebody to tell me what do we use? Uh, what we use simple present? I mean, uh, present perfect for. I wrote it here, guys. I typed, it, I typed it in. Teacher? Subject? No, guys, okay, you're, I think you're not understanding the question. Guys, what do we use present perfect for? Action completed in the past. Okay, that is simple past, okay? That is simple past. With experience. Right. What do we experience. use present, present perfect for? Uh, so experience. experiences. Experiences, okay. Guys, uh, se lo escribe aquí, guys. Lo tienen que tener en el cuaderno, guys. Cuando escribo algo, lo tienen que tener en el cuaderno, right? All right. So now, guys, this happens in Spanish, okay? Even if, if you talk like Sofia Vergara, right? All right. This happens. This happens in Spanish too. Now, when you talk about experience, guys, do you only use like uh, present perfect. Fíjate que yo he estado en los Estados Unidos y he comido esta comida y he... Is that the only thing that you say or you combine sentences? You combine the sentences. You combine them, right? So you can say, let's say, for example, ask me a question. Can anybody ask me a question in, in present perfect? Somebody. Um, right? Have you ever... Have you ever ate... Um, calamar. Okay, have you ever eaten? Um, all right. Okay, eaten. Uh, squid. Uh, have you ever eaten okay. squid? Uh, so I'm gonna answer, right? No, I haven't. I have never eaten squid. Mm. I tried fish once, okay? Now, if I say I tried fish once, what tense is this, guys? Past. Okay, so there we go. Good job. Applause for Jacqueline, guys. Good job, Jacqueline. All right, so guys, you have 
You have a. Uh, oh my God! How can I turn? All right, whatever. All right, guys. So, so there we go, guys. So now check this out. So here, guys, over here, you have what tense is this? Present progressive. I mean, uh, present perfect, right? All right. So you have present perfect here, and then over here. And then over here, you got simple past, right? Mm. Right? So far, so good? All right, so now, guys, so one of you was asking me, hey, teacher, what happens if it is, can we, I mean, you were asking me if you could use, if you could use has. And the answer is yes, guys, you can use has. As long as it is in the third person okay so um so do me a favor guys everybody should have the structure over here okay this is a structure for a question all right uh -huh. Have you ever? I know going there. All right. So let's talk about Cheyenne. <laughs> All right. So let's let's ask a question about Cheyenne, guys. Who wants to ask a question about Cheyenne? Jimmy. All right, has, ask me a question has, about. Huh? Uh, has Chayang ever uh, eaten, eaten pupusas? <laughs> okay, ha, all right, let's. Okay, all right, good job. So the answer would be. The answer would be. Uh, yes. Yes. The, negative, negative, negative. No. Uh, no. No. He hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. Okay. No, he hasn't. Good job, no. guys. All right, good yeah. job. All right, guys. Now, let me ask you something else. Let's stop using eaten, okay? Eaten is like overusing it, all right? Let's do something else. Really? All right. Now, remember, guys, no. you will have to use past participle, past participle verb, okay? So, what is the past participle of go? Five, four, when? three, two, when? one, when? guys. Um, past participle. All right, what is the past participle of talk? Five. Talk. Talk. Talked. Talk. It's regular. Mm. Talked. What is the past participle speak? Talk. Spoken. Spoken, right. Uh, shine. Shined. No, it's, a, it's a regular. Sean? 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 Some. Like this? Yeah, like uh-huh. I okay. think I won't remember. Or is it this? Or is it this? Or is no, it... Sean. Okay, is that the past or past participle? Uh, the past. So what is the past? <laughs> well, I don't know. What do you think? You tell me. You're, you guys are the teachers. Uh-huh. So past the part. Sean, I, I think it's Sean. All right, Shunk? look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. All right, just put in past participle, okay? All right, because this is this is the past, okay? All right, so what is the past participle? All right, while you look for it, Google it, okay? While you look for it, uh, what is the past participle? Uh, let's use another common verb. verb. Uh, use, okay, use. What is the past participle of use? Used. Used, guys, don't say use it. Used, okay? <laughs> All right, what is the past used. participle of swim? Swam, swam, swam. Okay, swam. All right, all right. So, did you find the past participle of shine? Swam. How do you how do you how do you spell it? H O N E. H O. S H O. N E. Is this the past participle of the past? Past participle. Did you Google it? No. <laughs> Google it. No. All right. I don't know. Google it. No. All right. Uh, swim. So let's see. Fly, guys. What is the past participle of fly? Teacher. Right. 
Flown. Flown. Flown, ok. Uh, tell me, Jimmy. The, the child, the past, and, and the simple past and the past part is fully the same. Beautiful. Applause for Jimmy, guys. Good job, man. All right. So, Good yes, job, guys. Jimmy. Okay? Tell me. Good job, man. Good job. Thank you for Googling. Thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> what is the, okay, guys. So, we have a couple of examples here. Guys, I'm noticing something. You have to practice past participles, all right? You have to learn past participles. Because, uh, like, you made a mistake on all of them. <laughs> so, let's study them. All right. Uh, tell me. Somebody said teacher. You good? All right. So let's move on then. Okay. So we got uh, we got the structure here. So the answer, guys. How do you answer? Simple, right? Yes. All right. Yes, I have. I have. I have. Or no, I. Having. I haven't. Uh -huh. All right. If we're talking about Chayanne or Dua Lipa, we say. Let's say Dua Lipa, right? Yes, she has, right? Or she, no? She hasn't. She hasn't. All right, we're talking about uh, Cheyenne and Dua Lipa as a couple. No, yes, they? Yes, they, they have. Having. Or they, no? They, have, they, they, no, they haven't. haven't. Okay. That's if we're talking about Cheyenne and Cheyenne and Dua Lipa being my family, yes, yes, they. We have, or no, no we haven't. We haven't. So far, so good. Yes. All right, beautiful guys. I'm gonna ask you for examples, okay? All right, guys. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at the at the second pair of examples here, okay? Who wants to re help me read the second it's pair a of examples? Hey, teacher. Over here. Uh huh. Uy, guys, no se peleen por participar. All right. Hey, teacher. Let's go. Uh -huh. Actually. Tell him. Okay. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Beautiful, guys. Okay. Now, guys, notice something. We're using, we're using present perfect, and we're also using simple past to make questions, okay? All right. So what is the question that, we, that you see in simple past, guys? Yes, I Hold on. What is the simple past question that you see here? Did, did you? Did, okay, beautiful guys, all right. So now the whole structure is here, guys. All right, take a screenshot if, take a screenshot if you will. Um, but these are, this is basically the example, guys, okay? So have you ever been to a Viet Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't, but, but what? But I... But I, I ate at a, at, a, at a Thai restaurant last night. Repeat, but I ate at a Thai restaurant restaurant last night. But, but I, I ate at a Thai restaurant last, last, last night. All right, Thai restaurant, okay. Good job, guys, You're right. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends, okay. So now the rest, guys, is, is just uh, simple past as you know, it. okay. All right, so who wants to give me an example, guys? Ask me, guys. Ask to your teacher, okay? So uh, let's build a conversation. Actually, you know what? If you don't ask me, guys, I'm going to make you practice right now. So you better ask me right now. Ask me, guys. Ask me about experience. So when, it, when you think about experience, what questions come to your mind? Um, have you ever been in Colombia? Okay, very good job, okay? Repeat, guys. Have you ever have you been, been, been to Colombia? To Colombia. Have you or, ever been to Colombia? Uh, okay, so this is my answer. No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. But I've been to Brazil. Forever. Okay, now, 
This answer is in, in what tense, guys? This answer is in what Past. tense? Past. No, this is in present, uh, yes, in present perfect, okay? Have. Remember, I'm using haven't, okay, the auxiliary. But I've been to Brazil. Now, I'm going to use, guys, now it's time to combine. No, I haven't, but I've been to, uh, I have been, uh, but I have been to Brazil. I went there uh, to, uh, I went there twice, okay? Now, see, I'm combining it with simple past, okay? So, I'm going to ask a question to each of you guys. You got five seconds to answer me, all right? So let's get ready. Jorge. Yes. yes. Jorge, uh, uh, have you ever visited another country? Five, four, three, two. So slow. Sandra, have you ever visited another country? Five, four, three, two. Too slow. Emperatriz, have you ever visited another country? Five. Four. No, I haven't. Uh huh. What else? But no, I haven't. Mm, uh... Ah, oh, that's okay. it. You, you can say no, I haven't. All right, but I have this visited. All right, this is simple past, but I have visited uh, La Campanera. All right, no. all right, Jacqueline, let's go. So, okay. uh, so uh, have you ever visited like, another country? Yes, I have. I have visited, visited Honduras, Guatemala, and just that. Okay. Tell me something that you did there. Like, I ate, okay? I had a I, good time. I, was, uh -huh. uh, I have a good time with my family in Esquipulas. And when I went to Honduras, I visited the um, pyramids. The pyramids. Pyramids. Okay. The pyramids. And I went to um, I was thermal. <laughs> okay, th like thermal waters. Okay, thermal waters. And um, like hot water else? that you would call the hot waters. All right. Yeah. All right, that's that's a good example. Okay, so I was I was just making sure, guys, that you're using simple past as well. Okay. So I want the present the present perfect answer and the simple past answer. Okay. So time for you to practice, guys, and, I, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do this exercise again because you need to practice. Okay. So the question, write it down in your notebook. Have you ever been to another country? Okay. All right. So this is gonna be the first answer and. Then the second, so what did you do there, okay? All right, present perfect and present progressive. Got it? So have you ever been to another country? Uh, yes, I have. I've been to United States. I've been to the United States, uh, to all Central America, to Brazil. In fact, my favorite country was Brazil because I had a really good time there. I was able to uh, go all around uh, Go the uh, Goiana City, blah, 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 blah. I said it. So you're going to come up with your own answers, guys. Do you have any question? Question, question, question? Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah, yes, I have. Yes, I have, guys. We just practiced that. Do you <laughs> have any question? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, right? Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Uh, teacher, uh, when I use I, uh, the word being, uh, I, I told that the verb being, uh, it means uh, uh, present perfect continue, not present perfect. Uh, I'm confused. No, guys. I'm, uh, I'm confused. No, 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 no. That's being, not being. All right, there's a difference between being and uh, being. You're talking about, about being like this. This no. is not the same as being. Okay. Uh huh. Been. Uh huh. Uh, because uh, because in the present perfect I use um, the past uh, the part el participio. Mm -hmm. uh, in okay. the another one, for example, I have been uh, applying applying 
aplicando. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my question, yeah? Okay, uh, I got you, got you, got you, got you. I'm answering your question right now. All right. So first of all, Ben, guys, Ben is the verb to be. Now, Emperatriz, do you know what the verb to be is? Bein. What, what is the verb be? Cero estar. In exactly, Spanish. right? So what is the simple? All right, no Spanish. What is the simple past? Was and were. And what is the past participle? Been. Be. All right, so now these being the past participle, what does it have to be? Participle. Now, remember, so this being a past participle, it has nothing to, all right, it has nothing to do with, with, uh, with uh, present perfect continuous, okay? Yes, you're using present perfect continuous, but this is just the past participle of the verb be. Like, hey, como has estado? How have you been? He estado bien. I have been well. Got it? How are you being? Okay. It's just a verb. It's just a verb. It's like saying, it's like saying, uh swim right all right uh this is the the infinitive would be to swim right uh the simple past what would, what would it be what would be the the simple past for this swim. Swim. the simple swim time, right swim okay and what would be swim. the past participle swim okay swim okay good job okay so participle all right we're gonna say swim okay good job so these two things, it's just the third form of the verb. Got it? So if I say, have you ever been to another country? ¿Has estado en algún otro, en, en, en otro país? Did you get it? Have you been to another country? Has estado. Been, in this case, means estado. Uh -huh. Has estado, huh? Aha, uh -huh. so did you get it? Uh, let, me, let me see. All right, you're saying like, why do we use it in, have you ever uh, been running all day? This doesn't change, guys. This is, been is estado siempre. Ha estado corriendo todo el día? Has estado en algún otro país? It's the same. Got it, Patrice? Uh, yes, I got it, teacher. I got it. All right, beautiful. It's just the third form of the verb, okay? Good job, guys. So let's practice, guys. I'm gonna give you five minutes and then we're gonna practice some more. Good question, Beatriz. Let's go, girls. Okay. Hey, Edwin. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I practice English. <laughs> you practice English. That's the attitude. Uh, Jorge, right. that's your, that's your it, name, man. right? Go for it. All right. Uh, who, who wants to start first, Jorge? Do, do you want to ask me first? Okay. Uh... Okay. Uh... Have you ever been uh, eating, eating? Have you ever eaten at uh, China food? Yes, I have. Um, have you ever been visit to Guatemala? No. Um, no, I haven't. I think it's more. Um, 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 other question, Kevin. Have you ever been a uh, instrumental instrument concert? No, no, I 
I haven't. No, I haven't. No. Um, yeah. Have you ever eaten rabbit? Uh, can you repeat? Have you ever eaten rabbit? Can you write in the chat? I can hear you. Oh. Right. And I, the weather is is basically is very cold. I used to be in temperatures like uh, six uh, seventeen degrees. The temperature is really cold. You can handle with this. But but actually, I like it. I would like to be again there. I'm sorry. Where where have you been? In Sweden. Oh my God! That's so cool, man. Yes. And why, yes I, 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 why did you come back? That's a question that everybody asks, huh? Yeah, I went there last year. Uh, I have been there for 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 three three times. My my there sister lives over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Have she, you ever yeah. have you ever have you ever thought about staying there? Yes, we tried, uh, but basically we could we couldn't stay there because. Uh, immigration has uh, some rules that you have to, that you have to, uh, we, well, we asking for asylum. Me and my family, we asking for asylum over there last year, mm -hmm. but basically they, they don't receive us because if, if you receive asylum or a resident, your country has to be in a ward, uh, like Afghanistan, like those countries, they, are, oh, they have okay. a civil ward. Yes, and we don't have a ward here in El Salvador. Well, basically, yes, with the with the gay members, you know, all this all this stuff. Right. So we explained all to to do immigration, but immigration doesn't receive our our answer, and then we and my wife decide to to get it to get him back, you know, to our country. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you didn't want to stay there illegally. Yes, uh, basically, I would like to stay over there, but <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like being in, uh, in another world, isn't it? Is 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 very nice. Is uh, it's, it's completely especially different, man. It's completely different. The the food, the the the, the bus, the, the transportation. Everything we went was to a, clean. Yes, we went to a park. Uh, was uh, his name was Lizzie I don't know if you heard about this park. It's like no. a Six Flags Magic Mountain. Do you do you heard about Six, six Flags uh, Magic I, Mountain? I, I've been to yes. Six Flags, but never to that uh, Magic Mountain. Lizzie uh -huh. Yes, so I went to it? I went to Six Flags what? Magic Mountain one time ago. I was oh, there that's too. Awesome, man. Yes, I was. Uh, I, I ride a uh, taxi, Goliath, and I don't know if you remember those rides. I rode, not I ride. I rode. I rode. Mm -hmm. I rode. Uh -huh. I rode those rides. So it was. Well, I had great times. <laughs> okay. All right, mm -hmm. that's that's awesome, man. Okay. All right, keep practicing, yes. guys. Good job. Thank you so much, David. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So how's the practice going, guys? Where have you been? Teacher, 
So what countries have you been to? Sorry to say. So what, what countries have you been to? You're inventing, you're making it up? You're making it up right now? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, so time to go back. Okay. Hey guys, you got you got some pretty nice stories, guys. Very good job. I like them. All right, Jocelyn. Hi, <laughs> Jocelyn, are you there? Hi, teacher. I have a problem with my beard. Oh, okay, all right. It's okay. Sorry. I thought that your hair was covering the camera. <laughs> Hi. Beautiful. So, uh, Jocelyn, have you ever been to another country? I believe so. Have you ever been to another country? Mm, no. No what? How do you answer that, guys? No what? No, I. No, no. I haven't. Very good. No, I heard. Who? Okay, so who has been to another country? Me, teacher. Who's been to another country, guys? Me, teacher. Jimmy, you're you're smiling, all right? You might have been to another country. What country have you been to? Only Guatemala. <laughs> hey, but Guatemala is beautiful, man. Yeah. Do you think it's prettier than El Salvador, guys? Uh, probably no. <laughs> El Salvador probably is not. better. You think El Salvador is better? Yes, better. yes of yes. course. Really? We had the yes, we had the best beaches and mountains. We have everything here, and it is near. If you go to Guatemala, you have to travel to a lot of uh, kilometers, no? But don't you think Guatemala City has like, like uh, more beautiful cities? Probably yes, but you have to uh, travel too much in the in the white car. Okay. In Salvador, in Salvador here, you had you had everything in it's near like an like an hour. You can you you can be in in in, in different places. Man, if you if you turn, if you turn, uh, if you make a wrong turn turn here, you you end mm -hmm. up in a different country, man. That's how small the traveler is. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in Guatemala. I didn't know. I just turned right. Okay, I get lost. <laughs> okay. That's that's the so point. That's, that's how it is in El Salvador. All right, all yeah, right. Yeah. Good job. All right, who's who else has been to a different? I know that you have been in. Edwin. He's been yes, to uh, New Zealand, right? Me? Yeah. No, in Switzerland. In, uh huh. No, no, Sweden. Sweden, okay. Sweden, uh, yes. You've been to Sweden. Yes, that's I've also been there. Called, called the, isn't that? Uh, no, no, that's different. Ah, uh, you've been to Sweden, okay. So share yes. your experience about being uh, in Sweden. Well, I have been experienced for two eyes. Uh, eventually, it's a really nice country. It's very cold. It's cold. I ate uh, different topics of food and and. The food is really nice. Um, I went to um, Gothenburg and Stockholm, uh, really nice cities. Stockholm? The transport, St Stockholm is the, is the capital of the Sweden. Yeah, no, yeah. but the pronunciation is Stockholm. Uh, Stockholm. St 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 Stockholm, I didn't know that. Thank you okay. for telling me. Um, it was a great time. We went to a park um, with my wife and my daughter. Uh, that's I was telling you before. We asking for asylum to immigration, and we didn't receive anything for for the thing that I re, I do explain to you. <coughs> uh, but 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 we have a really nice experience with my wife because we went to different places. The the bad point of this, the weather is very <coughs> cold. The temperature is is getting higher every day. So uh, that's what I don't re really like that. That's what I love in my country. El Salvador is very nice. The temperature is nice. And I, that's what I like here. It's better. <laughs> but okay. I have a great experience. Mm -hmm. All right. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Applause, guys. Thank that's you. a nice story. Okay. Thank you. All right. Who else wants to share, guys? Who else wants to share a different story? Uh huh. All right, uh, pick someone, pick someone. Edwin, pick someone, Me? pick someone with a beautiful smile. Uh, Karen. Karen, okay, Karen, let's go, Karen. Um, I um, visited Mexico. Uh, uh -huh. 
play circle loop. Okay. Um, uh, last year. Hmm? Uh -huh, last year? See, um, what happened? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, um, as, uh, I wear, I wear, I wear, I wear, um, uh, California. Mm -hmm. You've been to California. I have been to the repeat. I've been to California. I've been to California. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lily and then what happened? I think I think your line's breaking up right now. So I'm gonna cut you short. That's we're gonna interrupt you right now. Okay, guys. So beautiful stories, guys. All right. Uh, tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow we're gonna be taking a look at. Uh, we're we're still gonna be taking a look at. Simple past versus uh, present perfect, okay? Guys, so if you have not finished the platform, please, 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 I beg of you, please finish it, okay? It's really important that you finish the platform, guys, so uh, do me a favor, just finish it. All right, do you have any question, guys? Any question? What is no, the meaning please. of life? No. Nothing? No. no. Okay, you don't want to know the meaning of life? <laughs> the meaning of yes i want to know the meaning of flight tell me <laughs> david tell tell us all Come right on. it's uh it's it's too late for that but i one day i will tell you all right all right <laughs> you, you should Good. tell that story because i want to know that <laughs> I, will, man, I will all right guys so if that's right. it guys all right i will see you tomorrow guys um uh yeah. remember please finish the platform please finish the um the midterm all right, okay. guys. So we are going to be on the floor for the middle order, right? Thank you, guys. Love you all. Take <laughs> okay. care. Good night, thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye.